the current air traffic control system uses the very finest 1950s ground-based radar technology, and you've probably got better wayfinding in your Honda Accord uh, than uh, you know our ATC controllers have today. The system is safe. It's just very slow. It's very burdensome for passengers. It's very burdensome for airlines. It's very expensive because of the delays. And also, uh, there are many studies that show that with a modern ATC system in the United States, we could save about 12 percent of our fuel burn. That's a staggering amount of fuel. It's also very good. Would be very good for the environment to have 12 percent less fuel burn within the, within within the ATC system of the United States. So we're big supporters of, of modernizing the air traffic control system. The problem is, candidly, uh, members of Congress today tend to focus on what's in their districts, and they don't tend to sort of look up at the highways in the sky, and so we can't get any funding for it. And the funding that is uh, allocated is trivial compared to what needs to get done. Uh, so it's, it's a conundrum to get this accomplished. You and I both know it needs to get accomplished. So we could use the support of business travelers in the United States to write to their congressmen and demand some action because the stimulus money, there's not a pothole in America that's not being filled today, but the highways in the sky are totally ignored and we need to take some action and we need to take it now. We're always concerned with safety and security. That's the most important thing that we can provide. And so we're, we're always working with the TSA and with, with different government agencies uh, to help assure that our customers are safe and secure. At the same time, whenever there are additional requirements of going in, in security at the airport, it does pose yet another impediment to travel and therefore it does have an effect on demand. And so it, that, that it is troubling to us. Uh, so we want to make sure that whatever rules and regulations that TSA or other agencies promulgate, that those are truly security or safety related, uh, and they're not, they're not rules that, that impose too heavy a burden on the travelers uh, for whatever security value that they, that they bring. Uh, I mean, candidly, I think that the TSA today, although does a fairly good job, does waste some resources because they spend a lot of money searching regular business travelers. They send, spend a lot of money searching pilots and flight attendants and mechanics at Continental Airlines, which makes no sense at all. I mean, a simple biometric program where, for example, a, a pilot could, could have a fingerprint scan or iris scan, which could go directly to our computer and say, yes, indeed, Captain Smith is a Continental pilot and is supposed to be at um, you know, Newark today or Intercontinental today or Copenhagen today or wherever it happens to be then that person wouldn't have to be surged because clearly they're not terrorists if they're flying our airplanes. Uh, and that set, that set of resources could be used more effectively uh, actually addressing true risk.